Hey guys, so me. welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are having an amazing day. And today we are going to talk about how to convert a Premiere Pro timeline into a Final Cut Pro 10 project. So let's talk about it, how you can do that for completely free. And let's get started. So first things first, here's what we're going to need. We're going to need Final Cut Pro 10, probably if it's possible the latest version, Adobe Premiere Pro and one more piece of software which is actually free to download and that's DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci is completely free and there's a paid version but you don't really need paid version so you can just download the free version and it should be good to go. You won't really be editing or doing any color grading in DaVinci itself, you're going to be using it as a bridge to connect Final Cut and Premiere together. Now if you want to follow along this video and do it yourself while watching the video, I will have a link in the description below with all the assets, everything that I use in this video so if you want to grab that you can grab the download and let's get started so first things first if you do end up downloading the project or the archive file in the folder you're going to see two basically subfolders one is going to be called test footage and this basically is the footage we will be making sure gets transferred to Falcon Pro 10 with all of edits and this is just a footage of iPhone 11 Pro unboxing and in the other folder is the actual Premiere Pro project that we will be using so first step is basically to open the project you want to convert and in this case let's just open the project that you just downloaded so as you can see it already has a test footage folder so we have already imported the basically the iPhone 11 footage and we already created a sequence and we want to make sure these same settings and everything go over to Final Cut and if you can see you can just scrub through we have a little bit cross resolve in the starting we have some zoom in and zoom out throughout the video and then at the end we again have basically have a cross resolve so once you have your premiere project open what you're going to do is you're going to head over to file and we're going to do an export now if you go all the way down and export you see multiple options we're going to go all the way down which is Final Cut Pro XML so just name it XML and save it wherever you like I'm just going to name it Premiere Pro XML so we don't confuse it once it's saved we don't really need Premiere Pro anymore so let's just hide that and now what we need is DaVinci Resolve so head over to DaVinci and open that up now in DaVinci you can create a new project or if you already have a project open it doesn't really matter just open any project it can be an untitled project and now when DaVinci is back on what we're going to do is we're going to import in the XML file we just created in Premiere Pro so to do that you can just go up on top file and now instead of saying import file in XML what we are going to do is import timeline and hit XML now in this case we basically pick where the Premiere Pro XML file is pick that and it will give us few options now in this option one thing I like to do is make sure at the bottom where it says mix frame rate format make sure you change it to Final Cut Pro 10 so we're going to hit Final Cut Pro 10 in DaVinci Resolve and press OK so now as you can see we have the same Premiere Pro project now in DaVinci we have a fade cross resolve in the starting cross resolve at the end and we also basically have all of our cuts that we made now from here what you can do is going to head over to file and we click on export xml now in this what you can do is we can make it a little bit change i'm going to name it xml so this is the xml we're going to go in final cut but at the bottom where it says final cut pro 7 xml we're going to head over to that and we're going to change that to fcp xml 1.8 fcp xml so this is the latest version of the xml files that final cut actually accepts if the format is not this you will not really be able to open or convert your premiere project properly to final cut so make sure you change the format name it whatever you like and just press save now after the xml is created we don't need dissolve so we can just close it you can just say don't save because you don't really need to save it now once that's done what we can do is two options we can take the xml file which is you can see on the desktop we can double click it and it will open in final cut or another way is just head over to final cut so we can just head over to final cut go on the top file import and we can say import xml now when you're doing import xml as you can see the xml file that the premiere pro made is faded out because you cannot select it as it's an older version but the one that which you made we can select that and we can say import it's going to make a new event for you and as you can see if i double click we have cross resolve in the start cross resolve at the end the way we made in premiere pro along with all of our cuts zoom in and out so in short we were able to convert a premiere pro timeline with all the cuts and effects into a Final Cut Pro 10 project while making sure all of the cuts and effects remain the same along with the color gate. So hope this video helped. Now if you want to know how to do this vice versa Final Cut to Premiere, it's a little different. I did make a video about it so I will leave that link in the description or honestly on one of those tags so you can check that out. Hope you all have an amazing day and if you like this video maybe hit the like and if you haven't already subscribed press the subscribe button with the bell that way you get notified and I will see you guys later.